everybody. Welcome back to Don't Starve. I'm Tinker Landon, and when I last left you guys, we were in a pretty good position. We got ourselves some meat drying racks, got ourselves a crock pot and our open and our ice box. We got some storage, we got ourselves science. We're doing good for now. We also got some hounds who apparently want to murderize us. But uh, yeah. Eh, we can deal with that. We got weapons and armor now, right? We are low on grass. Yeah, we are definitely low on grass. Not a problem. But we're low on sticks too. We're gonna need some more. Yeah, those meat drying racks, they really take it out of you for sticks. So, oh, but more importantly, I'm low on wood, so I'll just pop over this forest and grind myself out some more trees. Yes, I most certainly heard that. I know the hounds are coming. Uh, time to start gathering mushrooms. my armor as soon as those hounds come. They're almost here. They're, they're here. couple of hound attacks aren't really that bad. I got myself some monster meat. I'll be sure to turn that into uh, some jerky. So, now then. Yes, let's go ahead and use the shovel to dig up all these stumps that I left behind. Because I don't like leaving stumps behind. It's just sloppy. Got plenty of trees here that I can uh, harvest as well. I'll probably take a few of them down as two. back after this tree so that I can make myself a golden axe. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Hmm. So, what am I going to put in my base next? If I get enough... Okay, I'm going to be stocking up for winter, so some farms might actually be helpful there, because they'll keep their food through the winter. That's nice. I've also got myself some jerky now. Yes. I'll start drying these guys. Because monster meat, once it's been turned into jerky, it loses a lot of its harmfulness. Um, yeah. My health and sanity are doing great. And this jerky will help it more. So, let's see, what are we doing next? Oh, let's take it. I can't believe the Pig King wasn't in here. Maybe if I search the deciduous forest more, I will find him. That would be a really nice. On the other hand, if I'm going to get bees, I'm going to need to get them ASAP, because I will not be able to get bees in spring. Yeah. But I don't have any silk. I don't have any silk at all. I haven't found any spiders. That's a problem. I need to find spiders. Yeah, so exploration is now my top goal. Let's see, what can I take along with me? Huh. Okay, nothing. I guess I'll just have to resupply along the way. But yeah, I think right now... I think right now, getting... 
Finding spiders. It's gonna be a top priority, because finding monster meat is valid is is necessary. And I need that silk. I need that silk for a lot of things. Ew. Let's see, have I gone this way before? No, I have not. I'm just gonna follow this road and see if I get lucky. There's gotta be some spiders around somewhere, right? Oh, that's the end of the road. Uh, we have a swamp. Swamp will be good. Yeah. There are usually spiders in swamps. If I at least find them, then what I'll be able to do is, after they grow to level 3, I can take them out of the swamp and put them in a more easily accessible location. So yeah, this will work. Unless it's a super small swamp and it doesn't give me anything that I need. That, that, that's a possibility too. Well, it's giving me plenty of mushrooms. Mushrooms are good. Especially now that I got the crock pot, I can cook them up and do some very tasty food. But, I'm gonna need monster meat for that. Well, I don't need it, but it's best with monster meat. I don't want to get too close to that guy's house. He'll get pissed off at me if I do. Uh, I can hear all those tentacles. They want to do horrible things to me. So far I have not been punished too harshly for wandering around this swamp. That's a good thing. Not hurt any spiders yet either. I'm not too worried, by the way, about being in the swamp because I've got my hat, my miner's cap. That'll give me light in the dark. Sweet. Yeah, there's plenty of food in the swamp if you know where to get it. Get it. Oh, ouch. That hurt. I think one of those murmurs died. I killed him. I killed another tentacle. Oh, I think they're mad at me. Oh well. You're not going home, are you? <laughs> oh, hey! Well, this could be a nice little supply of uh, monster meat. I'm hardly hoping that they'll, uh... I'm hoping that they'll actually drop a tentacle spike. I should take it off now. Oh, that was a stupid thing to do. I'm getting out of here. I did not find any spiders. Which was my original goal. Yeah, okay. I don't think this... This 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 was not a uh, good run in the swamp. Am I exploring more when I'm almost dead? Got no super good healing items either. Oh, I got this. 
do I have to cook it? Yeah, I think raw is the right one. Yeah. Okay, out of the swamp. Let's see, where am I in comparison to my base? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and map out where the side of this forest is. There's stone on the other side, which is nice. Okay, what I want to do is I want to head home. I want to turn this meat into jerky, and then it will be my surrogate healing item. And those other jerky by now should be, they should be nice and dry, so, yeah. And I pick up manure whenever I have the chance, because it's gonna come in handy. In the near future. Yes. Okay then. That's fine, because I'm going to need to eat anyway. Yes, you are dry now. I'm going to use your superfood properties to heal myself back up where I need to be. Twenty per jerky. Nice. And you guys will make small jerky. Very good. And I'll put you in the ice box. As yeah, well as you guys. Um, I can make meatballs out of you. Let's see here. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and find you into papyrus. Because that's why I wanted to learn the recipe. <laughs> That'll be useful if I can get some honey. Okay, yeah, so I still do not have any silk, which means I have I have no ability to catch bugs. That's bad, because I need to catch bugs. Okay then. Oh, well, I don't know what I'm in for. I should probably go and make myself... Oh. Hey there, hey there, guy. You come back really fast. So easy to get, I love that. Uh, let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna need to cook myself up some food before I leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to cook myself up some food. So, let's open up the crock pot. And yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna try and get rid of these mushrooms. And we're gonna do that by turning them into meatballs, along with this monster meat. Let's return food items, non food items, into food items. The crock pot is wonderful. And this will help us survive on a longer journey. Uh, maybe there's a deciduous forest? Could look up here, I suppose. But I think the deciduous forest may be our best alternative. I still got half the miner's hat. I got plenty of wood for making fires. So, yeah, we'll be good. And I'll make one more. I'll put you in there. 
I remember correctly, the meatballs should give us a good amount of health back as well. And... And we're doing pretty good on sanity, so I don't need to worry about that. Now let's check out the deciduous forest. Maybe we'll find some spiders in there. Day 8. Hmm. Probably won't be the kind I can plant elsewhere. But, you know, I just need to find them. Hey, cute little thing there. Okay, get ready to put the hat on. And the hat is on. So, if I find a spider nest, I might be able to get enough silk to, uh... Yeah, I might be able to get enough silk to make a bug catching net. And then I'll at least be able to make some bee boxes. Because I won't be able to make any bee boxes in spring. And I won't be able to make any in winter. So if I want to make any, I have to make them now. So I explore. Because there's got to be some spiders around here somewhere, right? This hat was a lucky find. Oh, let's see here. I think there's something on the other side, but I can't make out what it is. I can't tell if that's desert or something else. I think it may be rocks. It's desert. Yeah, meatballs give back health, too. Okay, desert's good. Because we can find bones here. This is another good thing we're going to need. Let's just see if we can grab ourselves some bones quickly, shall we? Yes. Bones are kind of a hard to come by resource. Oh, and these guys. I love tumbleweeds. Just the idea behind them is awesome. Oh, let's see. I saw some more bones. Yeah, basically, the reason we need bones is to make buckets of poop. I guess it's because, you know, you need the calcium in them or something. Anyway, yeah. So getting some bones will make it much easier to either survive the summer and to just go ahead and transplant loads of grass. Which I may or may not end up doing. I'm not entirely sure. I usually don't, to be honest. Because I just rather... Use the bone on something else. Yeah, bones make it a lot like the buckets of poop make it a lot easier to survive summer. Survive summer. Ooh, pretty nut. I think this will be enough exploring for now. We need to get back to looking for spiders. Oh, hello. Never mind. Eye bone. But I've already got my base set up. Oh, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. I usually don't bother with Chester at Maxwell's door. Nice. Yeah, I usually don't bother with Chester. And it's just... I don't like the sound, that constant boinging sound. It just annoys me, so I, uh, I, I usually don't bother. He's cute and all. But... Eh. Maybe on the other end of this road, though, we will find the uh, pig king. Hoping this... Because we're really close to a deciduous forest. And the pig king often spawns in a deciduous forest. So there's a really good chance that this could take us there. Cross your finger... Um... That's not to the deciduous forest. Well, it's 
probably got something really valuable at the other end. I spoke too soon! I definitely spoke too soon! Well then! I guess that we will be heading back. That was a fruitless endeavor. That was the clack cactus growing on the road there. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and use this road. And we'll see where this road takes us. Have we already gone on this road? Yes, we have. Okay, then. Let us continue exploring. Butterfly wings. I can turn those into something good to eat. Yeah, so we'll just continue exploring the deciduous forest. I think this is probably... One of our good options for finding a spider nest. Honestly, I don't remember the spine rate of spider nests in here. Yeah, if we can't find monster meat, that'll be that'll be a problem. Monster meat's kind of what I use to uh, get through the winter or summer. I mean, you turn it into jerky, and, you know, you can eat it. You just need to space it out with some regular jerky. Okay, then. Well, it's good to have this on our map. space. Maybe I should have taken Chester. Eh. Oh well. I'll just pick all these because... Pick them up! That's how you get... That's how you stay on top of your food. Keep picking stuff up. Okay, let's continue down this way. That should probably take us out of the forest. Yep, that's out of the forest. And by the pigs. Okay then. It's day nine. I think there may actually be a full moon tonight. If so, that'd be great. Okay. And back to base. Yep, full moon. Very good. I almost broke my fire pit. There. I've already got some bones in there. Good. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I didn't need to cook anything for dinner, did I? Uh, I've got stuff to put in, though, so... <laughs> okay. Birdie and Nod, you can go in here. Hound's Teeth, you can go in here. Um... You're getting a far away from your pearl, aren't you? A little bit of meat. Cool. 
Well, this looks like a good place to call the episode. I mean, we've done some exploration, but we didn't really find what we need. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Tinker Landon, and you've been watching Don't Starve.